Hi, my name is Megan and I am from Lombardi Recreation Center, Campus and Wellness, and I'm going to show you guys a few different exercises that you guys can do anywhere, whether that's in your dorm room or in a nice quad, outdoors, but this will just help you guys build a nice easy workout because working out really helps when you need to reduce stress and it'll make you guys happy and active and feel like you're getting in an awesome workout. Okay, so the first exercise I'm going to show you guys is just a basic air squat. You want to have your feet right directly underneath your hips. If you need to go a little wider, that's totally okay. And you guys are going to put your hands out in front of you like you're holding a book or an apple. And your first initiation of the movement is to scoot your butt back. You drop down, getting below parallel, and you stand. From the side, once again, putting your hands out in front, your weight's in your heels. You're going down to that squat with your butt below your knees, and then you stand. If you guys want to increase the workout for that and uh, advance it a little bit, you guys can do jumping air squats. So you're just going down to that squat, jumping up, right back down to that squat, and jumping up. The next one I'm going to show you guys is just a basic lunge. So when you guys lunge, you're going to step your right foot in front, your knee can slightly touch the ground, and then you drive through that right heel and stand. And then you guys alternate. When you guys lunge, make sure that your knee is staying in place with your ankle. We don't want to have that knee coming over our toe because that could hurt your knee a little bit. So just make sure that that knee is staying in line with that ankle. If you guys want to advance the movement a little bit, you can do jumping lunges. So just start like this, boo, and jump up, keeping that knee in line with that ankle once again. Awesome. Okay, the next one I'm going to show you guys is a burpee, which is my favorite, but not really, but that's okay, because it gets everything, it works every muscle that you could imagine. So with the burpee, you're just gonna jump down to the ground like you're falling, your chest hits the ground, then you pop those legs up, stand, and clap at the top. From the side, you guys jump down like you're falling. If you guys wanna rest here a little bit, you can rest as long as you want. Then you pop those legs up, stand, and clap. Doing those will definitely tire you out and get your heart rate pumping. I'm gonna show you guys is a push-up. Woohoo! So, with push-ups, there's two different ways you guys can do them, but all I want you guys to do is make sure those elbows stay nice and close to your back, and you're gonna go down, have that chest hit the ground, and push all the way up. From the side, you guys are gonna keep that core and that butt nice and tight. You go down, hit that chest to the ground, push all the way up so that your core and shoulders are raising at the same time. If that's too hard, you guys can go to your knees, which is still great, because you're still gonna get that same range of motion hands on the ground, they're about right in the, underneath your shoulders. You go down, chest to the ground, and push all the way up. So those are two different options to do push-ups. So the next one I'm going to show you guys are mountain climbers. These are great for your abs and they definitely tire you out. And will also be good for your legs, good little cardio. So hands on the ground, and you guys are bringing your knees into your chest. So if you guys want to do, you can start out stepping and that's still a good way to do mountain climbers. Or if you want to speed it up, you bring those knees into your chest, touching your toes to the ground. Boom. Now I'm going to show you guys planks. There's different variations you guys can do for planks, but we'll show you guys a few. So to start out for planks, you want your hands right underneath your shoulders. You're keeping your core and back in line and squeezing that butt with those feet together so you guys can hold here or you guys can go to your side put your elbow on the ground line up your feet and then you guys can hold right here and go on to your left side or you guys can go on to your right side if you guys want to make your planks a little bit more difficult you guys can go to like a three-point plank so your hands would be on the ground and one foot would be on the ground, you guys could bring your opposite leg into your chest. So you could, then you could switch, right foot on the ground, bring that left knee into that elbow. And there's your planks. The next movement I'm going to show you guys 
is the crunch and we'll show different variations if you guys want to advance that movement. So you go onto the ground and the first one I'm going to show you guys is just the crunch. So you guys can pick your feet up in a nice 90 degree angle, put your hands to support your head and you guys just want to reach up, just trying to crunch those abs. The next one, you guys can plant your feet and this one will get a little bit more of that core and you're reaching behind your head and reaching in front of those toes. You guys can use that momentum of your arms to throw yourself up there to reach those toes and that will still be a great core exercise. And another variation that I can show you guys of a crunch is like a bicycle crunch. So you're bringing your opposite elbow to your opposite knee. So you're down, bringing that right arm to your left knee, come back down, left to right, right to left, left to right. And there's some core exercises. So to tie this all in, we want you guys to be able to create super simple workouts that you guys can do anywhere, whether that's in your dorm room, in your apartment, in the quad, you guys can use any of this nice grassy area we have on campus because it's always sunny here, so why not? So what we're going to do is from those movements I just demonstrated, you guys can choose four of those movements. So when you guys do this workout, we're going to start out by just doing 20 reps of each different movement. So 20 reps of burpees, 20 reps of push-ups, 20 reps of air squats, and 20 reps of sit-ups. And as you guys progress, you guys can move those reps up to 30. Then you guys can go to 40 and go to 50, or just choose reps that you're going to push yourselves but also get more comfortable with. And the nice thing about all these workouts and all these movements is you don't have to go to the gym. You can grab your roommate, from your dorm and you guys can do these workouts together because working out with friends is so much better 